I'm really enjoying filming. Everyone's been so like welcoming and nice beyond anything that I expected. Um, yeah, and I, I, everyone's just lovely. So yeah, having a laugh for sure. So I play Lorna Hutchinson, who comes in as the new deputy head. Um, she is very kind of um, defensive and aggressive when she first arrives, quite closed off and you don't know why, and I won't be telling you why, um, but basically she's going through some stuff in her personal life which she's not sharing with anyone. Okay. So I think she kind of gives the impression that she's this horrible woman to a lot yeah. of the staff, and she doesn't get on with people at the start. And then later on you're kind of going to see why and what's going on with her. Um, so yeah, she's having a bit of a, a tough time. But she's very ambitious, she's a good teacher, she's good with the kids. That's kind of when you see her happier side, her kinder yeah. side, when she's in the classroom with the kids. She, Lorna gets quite involved with some of the kind of kids' uh, storylines and their problems. And um, there's a new character called Kenzie, um, mm. played by Charlie Beaumont, who is having some troubles and, and Lorna gets involved with her. Then Abdul, again, another character, new character, um, played by Armin, he is going through something in his personal life and she sort of gets involved with that. I think basically because Lorna has no personal life, she gets very involved with all the children's yeah. personal lives. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, a different... Oh, there's so many differences. Uh, okay. She's not very happy, so that's the difference. I'm very happy. Thrilled to be here. <laughs> Uh, and similarity, um, <laughs> I like her clothes. Um, well, I thought it was going to be easier in terms of not having to learn a load of things that I didn't understand the meaning of, but it turns out teachers have a load of jargon that I don't understand either. Yeah. So I've swapped like medical stuff that I don't understand for... LEA, PTA, all these weird things. And if yeah. you get them in the wrong order, they don't like it. So I have to learn all these new terms. Yeah. Um, um, there's kind of, there's the threat of a possible merger throughout the series, um, okay. series 10. And uh, Vaughan and Lorna, my character and, and Neil's character, we're constantly trying to kind of fight this merger and keep the school open. And uh, the, the running thing that we're trying and that Lorna is championing, what she's really passionate about, is giving kids a second chance. So kids who have been expelled or excluded yeah. or anything yeah. like that. Um, it's about giving them a second chance and Wardsley Road being a place where they can do that. Um, which means, I guess, that there are more troubled kids in this series, there are more naughty kids in this series because they're kind of opening the school up to people who wouldn't necessarily be allowed back into a normal school. What Kenzie's storyline I think is quite pertinent um, and it's not something that I've seen done before um, and I mean I would probably say that she's she's caring for her mum and she hasn't had a lot of time to kind of be a kid herself so that's something that she's going through which I think is really interesting yeah. um, and then yeah there's more topical stuff again with Armin and his storyline. Yes, I did, um, especially when it was in Manchester, and then towards the end of it being in Manchester, my boyfriend actually was in it. Um, he was going to marry Chelsea's character. He was like stealing a microwave or something. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely watched it. I think it's a really sad thing that it's the last series. Obviously, it's got a huge fan base, as you well know. Um, but, you know, the, everything good comes to an end, so I suppose that's the time, and hopefully... We'll um, send you off with a good storyline to kind of satisfy all the fans. Yeah. An unusual fact about filming Waterloo Road. Oh, goodness. Um, the fridge in the staff room absolutely stinks. <laughs> Stefan opened it this morning in the scene that we were doing and we couldn't stop laughing because it smelled so bad. It smells of gone-off French cheese.